but I originally don't like to write songs with people. And it's not, it's just because in my mind, if I have a perspective of what I'm trying to do, that's what I want to do. I'm going to live and die by that. And you, you want to execute your vision from top to bottom. Period. Without any distractions or yeah. interruptions. Because ultimately yeah. what they ask you to do, like they don't come to me to just write songs. They come to me to do hits. And if that song's not a hit, that's on my that's on my ticket. You mm. know what I'm saying? And yeah. so I'm not I'm and not inserting another nigga's ingredient into your recipe can throw off the whole thing. Yeah, and some yeah. people try to make that, you know, some people spin you or spin the shit and make it seem like you being difficult. It's like no. Like when I go work with Beyonce, like I'm coming that motherfucker too close. You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming right. here to miss. Because if you miss, you never get in the room with her again. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you if you don't deliver, you know, you don't deliver, right? right? And it's just like, so the game is so funny how it plays with you and shit and try to make it seem like, you know, you're cocky or you're this or you're that. That same confidence that they come to you for, they, they use that shit to work against you to make it seem as if, mm-hmm. oh, now he's full of himself. It's like, no, nigga, I've been full of shit popping from day one, you know That's what I'm why saying? you're calling me. That's why the fuck you on my line. You know what <laughs> I mean? If you don't appreciate that, so what? So so what happened when it came to me as an artist? When you don't, when you give these people the opportunity to control the narrative, then they can say what they want to say about you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They start painting all other kind of shit. You inviting JJ and Quad and Tay Tay and all these motherfuckers on the credits, and you just like, well, who? What? What is this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you learn. You know, you learn. Um, and a lot of the things that um, a lot of the kids that ask me, well, how did you do it? I feel, I feel this um, overwhelming uh, responsibility to help the young kids understand how to be become dominant in in the art of being a hit maker, mm-hmm. right? And you know, it's one thing um, to be successful and have a hit song, but it's it's more so about being diligent in how you do it, the whole process of it, and not allowing somebody to, to really like, as we say, trick you off the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta really get your ability up to the point where you can survive yeah. alone in the jungle, right? Mm-hmm. And if you can take care of yourself in the jungle, then you'll definitely be able to feed your family and feed the community, right? And so um, that was a big, that was a big part of like my journey. Yeah. Um, it was about giving to the people you know, no, I, I never wanted people to look at me and say I never gave back to my community. Yeah. You know, when I gave goodies to Sierra, that was giving back to my little sisters. Right, right. That wanted to have a career, right? Because that changed her life. Yeah, mm-hmm. openly. When, you know, I changed Chris Brown's life. Like, that's my little brother. And I wanted to, and when I met him, I wanted to give him all that I knew. Yeah. Everything, you know, shout out to my man Scott Storch. You know, we did Run It, Give Me That. Mm-hmm. Um, I did Ain't No Way, Wall to Wall. Uh, shout out my boy, uh, Great Scott. You know, that was his sound. That's his. Yeah, you're just glazing over it like it's just tough. But that's like some major shit. Like. So I had to go do that to show motherfuckers. Oh, now did, did JQ do? Now did, did <laughs> does JQ, he deserve five percent of that? Did, yeah. Like, did, did JQ do run it and give me that? And ain't no way in water wall and check up on it and give yeah. me body and upgrade your ring and alarm and diva. Did that sound like JQ? Or does it sound like Sean Garrett? Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and I I hate to have to give a nigga that. But I had to spank a nigga, you know what I mean? Because it's like, don't, don't, don't ever disrespect me like that. Right. You know what I'm saying that's not what you do, bro. You know what I mean? And then, and then people start running with that shit. You know what I mean? It start fucking up your brand. So, so, when, so sometimes when you ask like where I've been, it's like healing, my nigga. I've been healing. You know what I'm saying? I just, mm-hmm. I, you know, I took, I got my, I took my wounds. You know what I'm saying? You know, I licked my wounds and I learned. You know what I'm saying? I've been learning. 